lot of financial advisors and their clients have been raising concerns about the recent volatility in short-term markets, as higher yields in the front end have caused yield curves to flatten. So what does PIMCO make of these moves? Undoubtedly, the past two years of easy monetary policy has unleashed a torrent of liquidity throughout the marketplace. And as we approach normalcy, or a perceived normalcy of interest rates over the next few years, perhaps that does tighten. And more importantly, investors should be prepared for small bouts of volatility which could persist not only in the broader marketplace, but also within liquidity markets. For short-term investors, this is an especially poignant time to begin to evaluate the prospects of what's going to be changing in the landscape of cash management. Those short-term investors typically are focused on capital preservation as well as income generation and liquidity management for those cash allocations, which are increasingly high. With money market allocations approaching $4.5 trillion today, undoubtedly, both institutional and retail clients are faced with a similar consequence, especially with rates near zero. In fact, we're unlikely to see anything happen until mid to late 2022 with regard to interest rate increases, which means for those cash investors today, we are going to be held with the prospect of earning near zero returns on cash unless we take a more dynamic and active approach to cash management in this environment. We suggest at PIMCO that we continue to take an active approach to this environment, specifically looking to diversify portfolios, even in short-term liquidity-minded portfolio constructions. And more importantly, look to adapt and be defensive to various risks in the marketplace, both emerging from interest rate sensitivity as well as credit sensitivity. We like to look at other ways to diversify the portfolio, perhaps into structured products, perhaps looking even beyond the realm of the United States, which can offer a variety of different instruments as well as premiums versus what we are here, seeing here in the United States. But keeping an open mind, and more importantly, keeping open degrees of freedom, even in the cash management space, is incredibly important. So the benefits of tiering your cash, knowing what you need today, as well as what you need for the immediate future, is a starting point for this discussion. And then, as a practical matter, investors can really look to manage cash allocations in a more active manner, despite the Federal Reserve's intentions to bring more normalized policy measures over the next few years.